On this episode, I'm in the Maldives, which should be on everyone's bucket list, including mine. This is my first time here, so come along with me and let me share what it's like to visit paradise. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. The Maldives is a unique place in that other than the capital city of Mali, there are no large islands where people vacation, like Hawaii or Tahiti, where vacationers would have many hotel, restaurant, and activity options. Rather, the Maldives is made up of more than 1,000 small islands covering 35,000 square miles. Only about 200 of the islands are inhabited or have hotels. Each hotel encompasses an entire island, so it's really important to do your research when selecting the right resort. Some properties are so small that you might get bored if you stay too long. This actually happened to someone we met who stayed two weeks at the same resort, and she said it was about a week too long. We selected Kandima Resort, which is located on one of the largest islands and has an endless array of activities, but more on that in a bit. After arriving at the Mali Airport, look for someone holding a sign with your resort name. The representative will help you navigate the airport and get you on either a ferry or a seaplane to your final destination. For us, Kandima is quite a distance from Mali, so we needed to take a seaplane, which was organized and scheduled by the resort. From the airport terminal, we were whisked away into a shuttle to take us to the other side of the airport, where the seaplane terminals are located. We boarded our Manta Air flight, which took about 45 minutes to reach the resort. And I have to say, this was one of the most scenic flights I've ever been on. The color of the water, the atolls and island resorts were simply stunning from above. When we landed at Kandama, we disembarked onto a floating dock. From there, a boat picked us up and took us to the resort jetty. After walking a couple hundred yards, we entered the lobby of the resort, which is bright and colorful, and where the floor surface tells you you're at a beach resort. Our luggage had been offloaded from the aircraft and was waiting for us in our accommodations. After we checked in, we boarded a cart that would take us to one end of the island where the aqua villas are located. Let me tell you, staying in one of these villas over the water is an experience I will never forget. The accommodations mirror that of the surroundings, bringing the various shades of blue into the interior. There is plenty of space to rest and relax. These units feature a private sun deck with a swirl pool, lagoon access, sun loungers, and a bathroom providing perfect views of Candima's extensive lagoon. They even have a Nespresso machine, and with this view, really gets the day off to a perfect start. The island that Kandima encompasses is about 2 miles long, or 3.2 K. If you don't feel like walking everywhere, you can board the shuttle at various stops, or you can rent a bike, which is what we ended up doing. Having bikes gave us the freedom and flexibility to navigate the island without having to waste a lot of time waiting for the shuttle. Kandima is so large, it's like a mini city. We spent five days there and only began to scratch the surface with all the activities they offer. Between activities and eating, we barely had time for relaxing, let alone see or experience everything the resort has to offer. This is one of the reasons that Kandima is perfect for longer vacations. You could easily spend two weeks there and not get bored. Some of the things we did during our stay included the sea bob. Now the sea bob is something I had never tried before. And let me tell you, it was an absolute blast. If you're not familiar, a sea bob is a high-end underwater scooter, seemingly something straight out of a James Bond movie. This device is halfway in between a jet ski and an underwater scooter. It allows you to dive into the water, 
and zip past coral reefs where you can see lots of colorful fish. Another day we went on a jet skiing tour to the other side of the island. Now these are not your ordinary jet skis, but rather high-end personal watercrafts that cut through the water with ease. No matter what water sport you're into, the folks at Aquaholics can hook you up. From sailing and other wind sports, to water skiing or wakeboarding, kayaking and more. If you need a break from the sun, they have an incredible spa with views of the water and relaxing sounds of the waves. After your treatment, they have this lovely lounge area to relax and enjoy some tea before your next activity. Another fun indoor activity that we did is an art class from a local Maldivian named Zima, who teaches you to paint a scene representative of the sea. We picked what we thought was the easiest scene to paint and worked on it together. So I had to show Miha how to do it. Zima is a great instructor and very patient with her students. Our finished painting was of this manta ray swimming through the colorful waters. It turned out okay, don't you think? Of course, you can't visit the Maldives without going diving or snorkeling. So we went on a sea turtle excursion. Unfortunately, we didn't see any turtles on this trip, but snorkeling over a vibrant coral reef was plenty of consolation. Something else we really enjoyed about Candema was that it never felt crowded. There was always some place you could go to find solace or your piece of paradise. Food and drink is also a big part of the overall experience at Candema. They have a number of outstanding dining options to choose from. There are two buffets providing breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which are really well appointed. And there are also several a la carte restaurants taking diners on a culinary journey. For those not ready to call it a night, the evening comes with live entertainment at some of the restaurants, as well as late into the night at the Breeze Bar. If you feel you've overindulged, there are definitely plenty of ways to burn off some calories. Candema is a resort that has struck a great balance. They offer affordable luxury to couples looking for a romantic getaway while also being family friendly. This is a stylish island resort setting with extraordinary restaurants, plenty of on-site activities, coupled with genuine hospitality, making for lasting memories. If you have any questions about visiting the Maldives and staying at the Candema Resort, leave a comment below. I'm happy to help. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.